get across. Light. Racing. All that sizzle was a touch slow and so was Evolutionist. Excaro got away nicely. It's trying to chime across now with Baltazar going quickly on the inside. And also right up there going forward is uh, Niramov. So Niramov has been able to take it up and keep out Excaro, who's back to third now. Second is Evolutionist. And they're about three and a half in front. Quirky Girls getting a great run in fourth position as they run down the side of the track. And then came All That Sizzle, the outside, followed by North Cal. And then came Driftwood Girl, who's getting well back in the field and ice one is third from last over suits me back to the tail of the field with the boulders with the back near the tail there evolutionist it was boulders are up running third up towards a turn near enough has got the lead by half the favorite x car is breathing down at neck and here's quirky girl now it's about to join in behind them is driftwood girl is trying to get to the outside and starting to respond x caro has burst up on the outside though and taken the lead and drawn clear it's x caro from quirky girl and then driftwood girl the outside but x caro is doing it pretty well over the final stages is holding the lead and comfortably from Quirky Girl and X Caro bolted in over Quirky Girl. Driftwood Girl was a good run first up third and fourth in was Evolutionist over on the inside. They all followed behind them by Ice One who picked up ground. Niramov has weakened out of it. They all followed by Evolutionist and further back Boulders are all that sizzle suits me in North Cole. The winner is the favourite here. Number three, X Caro. Bolting away from Quirky Girl and Driftwood Girl. The two girls into the placings. So three wins it. Number three is first, X Caro. Sat outside the uh, leader and has put Nirimov, uh, Nirimov away. And then uh, late on the scene, Quirky Girl had a beautiful run, chimed in, ran second. Driftwood Girl has been a good effort from fifth on the corner and continue to work to the line in a good style. Wait on the fourth placing we're waiting on. It's gone to number five and that's uh, Nemiroff. Two and three quarters, one length. 10461, 10461. Fifth in was number one, Evolutionist. Evolutionist and uh, behind them, Ice One. Was picking up good late ground as well into sixth position. Was a bit of an eye catcher after getting a long way back in the field. 10461, much quicker than the previous race. That was the race won by Bollywood Lass. So it was a stronger contest, of course. And uh, X Caro has put them away again, winning very comfortably. Really nice type. David and a David Smith. Smith with me now after the brilliant win of Excaro. But before I speak to David, we might just come across here because Paulie the strapper may as well be the number one strapper and uh, a real character in this region. You screamed that home, that horse home like nothing else. You're pretty happy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you think she was going to be doing this today? Yeah. <laughs> You're a little bit concerned in the early part. Everyone thought that she would just get to the lead, but there's a bit of pressure. Yeah. Got it real easy. Yeah. <laughs> Good on you, Paulie. Go and uh, go and grab your horse. He's a great character, isn't he, David? He definitely is a great character. He's a great man and a, a loyal um, worker. So, yeah, really happy to have him in the stable. He really is. And there isn't a person uh, here in Kalgoorlie who doesn't know Paulie. And he's a pretty proud strapper. But you must be a pretty proud trainer because this horse is just keeps on stepping up. Yeah, she certainly does. Yeah, she's um, just pretty much untested yet. So, yeah. We, we, we bit more on the tank and don't know how far she can go yet but she's going to go for a little break now and come back for the round and see what she's capable of. Were you concerned early when she didn't find the front? There was a lot of pressure up front. Yes, it's not not really because I was setting a good clip and um, I didn't, I'd rather she's just uh, camp off them rather than be cutting throats so I was happy enough where she was, yeah. Is the plan to send her out because you just want, she's done enough this preparation and you want to look after her to see if she can come back an even better horse? Yeah, that's right. Um, she hasn't raced for a long time before, before this prep. She spent a year in the paddock, so um, she's come a long way in, in this prep and we just want to give her a little short break now and bring her back for the better races over the round and that sort of thing and um, see what, she, see what can, she can do. Well, congratulations, not just on today, but on a wonderful preparation. You can't ask for much more than what she's done. Well done. Definitely not. Thanks, Brittany. David Smith there, the winning trainer. With Excaro, I'll now get a word with Fiona Bell, who's built up such a great association with this horse. Fiona, congratulations. 
She's a marvel, isn't she? You've loved her, this preparation. She's a lovely little horse, and to do what she did when she usually leads, to take the set, set all, do everything right, real professional. Dev's got her going absolutely great. Um, no, she's just loving it. What were your opening thoughts when those gates opened and those first few hundred metres when the pressure was on? Had you anticipated that you would find the fence? Um, looking at the field the first time, I thought it would, but then looking at it again today, I thought someone might try and put a bit of pressure on. But she's matured enough now to take the pressure, take the set, learn to settle and kick on like a good horse. How did she handle it today in comparison to when she's able to get it out her own way, bowling out in front? Taking the sit today, did it take anything away from her? No, absolutely not. She took it like an absolute champion, did everything right in the run, um, picked up the bit when she needed to and just kicked on with it down the straight. Congratulations on the win, Fiona. Thank you. Fiona Bell there combining with David Smith and Excaro, who brings up her third victory of four starts this preparation, her only defeat when she ran second. So it's been a big preparation for Excaro. Looking forward to her coming back after a little break, as David mentioned. One more race still to come from Kalgoorlie. We'll take a quick break. And on the other side, Shatin.